These are pomegranates. And our top. For the roots will be the above, above. This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Franklin County Redneck Community or Committee on YouTube. Robert's Reviews Planting. These are pomegranate seeds, and our top, the roots will mainly be is above, above. Okay. Um, you see right here, that's black. Oh, I forget what the name of it. Black ginger. Black ginger, okay. Who so with a lot of herb helps, helps with medical. And you see right here, you got to plant it where the little areas like this right here is above ground a little bit. This rest of it will roots and it will start shooting off onto the sides of this, like, like this. You see how this is? It will do that. And you see, already see it looks like there's like, could be pops up a little spots where it's ready to go. You know, you're planting them down in here. Yeah, and I'm planting them one here. And you can look and use your imagination about how far apart they are. Here, here, and here. Okay. You want to keep them where they're not. Don't saturate them, but you want to keep them the soil shiny. Show that black spot too. Okay. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah. And right here. Okay. Okay. It's a Yukon Smolanthrus Sanchifolis Rizomi. Or Rizome. Yeah, this is what that is. Well, when it starts, when you when it gets planted, it will get big. It's a root, it's a root type. Yep. Sorry for me. Root type of it. It's a red, red, red ball. Where you replant the red ball and the rest, that you process it and clean it up and wide variety of use. Gourmet mills and all. This is a part of another ginger, black ginger. Okay. You see how we got this set up? Because of squirrels, birds, and all. See the little stick right there? That's where the ginger is right there next to it. On each of these. Brown bricks, the way we got it is to set it up to where the wind or the squirrels do not flip it over and take it. Okay, and we're going to water this like this nice and easy. And this is a winter, only a summer crop. 
this is not very good for holding too cold of a weather. Get that one too. That's a two. That's actually a turnip. Now, uh, right here, just spray, put some down there. That's where the peach is buried. Okay. Okay. And these are the other black ginger. Well, you don't want to directly put the water on, let it. Now this one too, it's got a thing underneath here. You can fill that water up in there. Yeah, let's try. Well, don't do it now. You, you gotta water all your stuff. So I can come back later and put it in there for you. Oh, that's the reason why I said that for <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you gotta put them in the right position. This little open, this little thing right here, it's gotta stay up. And you gotta make sure you're this up here. Don't get added, you know. Go. Did this freaking in April, uh, a week and four days before spring frost, which is April the 22nd. My name is Robert Hansen. I'm ready to till this up, make sure it's well preserved where it does air. What are you growing? Uh, carrots. Peppers and two different types of carrots. You mean you say I'm growing? I'm growing two different types of carrots and peppers. And by doing so, we got to prep the soil to where get the rocks out and any other foreign objects that can hint, break, stop the plants from growing correctly. Mm -hmm. And each one will be about the size of like this depth. Apart, apart, but cool. we're in, in deep into the soil. No, the size of your finger now, like that, like this. Okay, so it's this far apart. Yeah, each row, and each row would be like this here. See, that's what I was telling you last year. I noticed when I did the the things, they actually. I did them like from pole to pole, mm -hmm. and it worked out pretty good. Yeah, that's what I what we're going to do is to where the roots. Now, are you going to do a row this way or this way? This way, and to where each one's got enough room to grow and and to expand in growth and all. Now, are you going to do one row and then wait three weeks? Or? Yeah, I'm going to wait three three weeks. Do each row, row, but during each time I have to roll to check the soil, make sure everything else too, and I want to add chopped up, up orange peel. See. Citrus acid will help with the soil um, and the plants. So you got to distinguish between that between the that's for the peppers, not for the carrots. Well, for the peppers, I'm going to do that. To where it helps with the growth and for the insects as well. 
because uh, carrots don't have or they don't you don't put uh, manure and fertilizer in with them oh, okay. well, uh, and orange pill now start killing <laughs> you just and you will come across objects in like coal These are pomegranates. They stand our top. So the roots will be in the above, above. Above. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback. These are pomegranate seeds, and our top, the roots will mainly be as above, above.